Hello and welcome to Football Victoria's Club Support Series. This series of webinars is designed to assist you and your club to navigate the challenges of running a community sporting organisation and provide the tools, education and resources that can help you out throughout your journey. All football club committees should keep an eye on the cash flow situation and liquidity of the club as maintaining adequate available funds is crucial to all of your club's activities and plans in both the short term future and the long term. Given our game stretches right across the state and our nation and in the spirit of reconciliation, we at Football Victoria would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of country throughout Australia and their connections to land, sea and community. We pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples today. The aim of this presentation is to provide a basic understanding of what a cash flow statement is, as well as some of the steps as to how you can manage the cash flow position within your club. We begin with one of the first rules of business. You can never run out of cash. Ignoring cash flow is not an option in managing any business or football club, unless you have more cash than you know what to do with. Cash flow refers to generating or producing cash inflows and using or consuming cash outflows. You should think of cash flow as the lifeblood of your club, and you must always keep that blood circulating in order to avoid failure and to avoid that heartbeat stopping. Managing cash flows is essential to the successful operation of your club. The statement of cash flow shows how a club spends its money and where a club receives its money from. The cash flow statement includes all cash inflows a club receives from its ongoing operations and other investment sources, as well as all cash flows that pay for club activities and investments during a given period. The statement itself has a dual nature and twofold purpose. A, to summarise cash flows and B, to summarise changes in the financial condition of the club during the period. The changes in the financial condition of a club are very important and should never be overlooked. Cash flow may be satisfactory, but it doesn't guarantee that changes in the financial position of a club are satisfactory. It is always important to understand the story behind the figures you are reading. So why do you need to pay attention to the cash flow statement? For one, it shows your liquidity that means you know exactly how much operating cash flow you have in case you need to use it. So you know what you can afford and what you can't. And two, it lets you predict future cash flows. You can use cash flow statements to create projections so you can plan for how much liquidity your business will have in the future. And that's important for making those long-term business plans and decisions. We will now take a slightly deeper dive into the relationship between cash flow and profit in your club. Making profit generates cash flow, and any business owner knows that. But the actual increase in cash during a given period of time is almost always lower or higher than the profit number. This could be due to revenue that has become an account receivable because it hasn't been paid to you yet, or expenses that you are yet to pay that become accounts payable. A club's cash flow can be defined as the number that appears in the cash flow statement as net cash flow. A club's profit is shown as net income on the profit and loss statement. However, because of accrual accounting, net income doesn't necessarily mean that all the receivables were collected from members, sponsors, etc. From an accounting standpoint, the club might be profitable, but if the receivables become past due or uncollected, the club could run into financial problems. Even profitable companies can fail to manage their cash flow which is why a cash flow statement is a critical tool for managing your club finances. The key difference between cash flow and profit is time and timing. In short, profit can show you how successful your business is, but it can't tell you if your club has the money to survive long term. On the flip side, an unprofitable business that is cash flow positive will have a hard time remaining cash flow positive for very long. If your cash flow analysis shows that you're about to be low on cash and not able to make your payments, you can adapt by obtaining finance, cutting costs, or trying to increase income and revenue. This is why cash flow analysis is so important, because if it is left unmanaged, it can lead to major solvency issues. 
Now, as some of you may or may not know, solvency is the ability of a club to meet its debts and financial obligations. Solvency can be an important measure of financial health since it's one of the ways of demonstrating a club's ability to manage its operations into the foreseeable future. Solvency involves making sure the club can pay all bills when they fall due, has adequate funds in the accounts for scheduled expenses, can fund all of its programs and activities and any other contractual obligations, and to ensure the club regularly reviews its cash flow forecasts, identifying any variances and noting their potential impact on solvency. In order to better understand your club's cash flow position, the first point of call is to read and review your financial reports to determine that financial position. Whether you have a healthy cash balance and whether you have positive cash flow growing that balance or a negative cash flow diminishing those reserves. Then you will need to analyse the information. Mentioning that a club has a negative cash flow can cause a knee jerk reaction, that we must be in deep trouble and on the edge of bankruptcy. In reading a financial report, look for the reasons behind the numbers, which can tell you the real story. The causes of negative cash flow for the period may be temporary and unlikely to repeat in later years. Then again, the reasons may be systemic and likely to continue until corrective action is taken by the club. To control cash, you must first control cash inflows and outflows. To do that, you need cash flow information and you need to know how well your current cash balance stacks up against the short-term demands on cash. The timing and size of cash receipts and payments are two of the most important factors in cash flow. So revenue is recorded when cash is received and expenses are recorded when cash payments are made, not before and not after. Managing cash flow comes down to anticipating when money will come into your club and when it will need to be paid out. Then playing with that all important balancing act to ensure you don't dip too far into your own cash reserves so you can retain that buffer in the bank and avoid financial trouble. This may sound like a challenging task, but in all reality, it is not that hard. Basically, all clubs will have relatively the same revenues and costs each year, which are usually paid out and received at about the same time each year. For example, the majority of registrations, uniforms and sponsorship revenue will come in in the two months prior to the start of the year and the two months after the season starts. Revenues from social events will come in the month that they are held. The same goes for fundraising activities. Now, things like canteen and bar sales will occur when you expect people at your club. The starting point here would be to look at the competition fixture and see when your home games are. They will be the times that you generally make the canteen and bar sales. The financial statements or cash flow statements from previous years will be a tremendous help in regard to expenses because most will be recurring, which will help you with your planning and management. For example, electricity and gas might be quarterly, facility hire monthly, and coaches and potentially player payments if you're at that level might occur weekly. Finally, make your adjustments. The trick is to get the money that you're owed, such as registration fees, into the club as quickly as possible while paying out money that you owe, such as bills, over as long a period of time as you're allowed. For example, by providing online payment options for registrations rather than collecting cash later, or by paying bills by direct debit over the course of a year rather than in one lump sum. Now, it is important to note that this is not an exhaustive list, but this is a few of the ways that you could seek to improve your club's cash flow position. For example, you could make payments easy for customers, and one way to encourage payments by players or members is to make the process as easy as possible for them. Cut through as much red tape as possible and limit the amount of obstacles in the way between them and payment. By incorporating online or direct debit payments into your payment offering, it frees up cash handling as well as solidifies your club's cash flow with recurring income. You could also offer early bird payment discounts. So you could offer rebates or discounts for early payments by giving, for example, a 5% discount on registration fees if they pay in advance or pay before a certain deadline. This incentivizes your members and players to pay early 
and gets cash in the door quicker than usual. It might also save you having to chase up those players later in the year that are often outstanding. On the flip side, you could charge a late payment penalty. Another key to successful invoicing is having a strong invoicing policy. So choose a consistent time when those invoices are due and stick to it. You might even have to take it a step further and include a specific date to eliminate any confusion. Not only will this help increase your chances of getting your money, but it will also set you apart as a professionally run club. Set some cash flow targets. Cash flow is key for ensuring that your club has enough money to function properly. Set targets for how much cash you want to have on hand or in the bank, then make sure you work to meet those targets. Agree on clear payment terms. So before your players register or join the club under payment agreements, make sure you are very clear on what the payment terms are, then have them sign an agreement. By minimizing debtor days, we mean when you create a package or a payment arrangement for players, try to make sure that it minimizes the days between when player is invoiced or when they are in debt to you and when they actually make that payment or minimum payment. Furthermore, you could use technology to manage your cash flow situation. So don't just rely on your team and yourself to manage the cash that's coming in. Instead, rely on technology that handles processes like invoicing, payment collection, and receipt issuing. That way, you can take some of the processes off of your plate and give yourself time to focus on the work that you enjoy and the work that really matters, the football out on the pitch. So just to recap the main points of what we have covered, Cash is king. While we play our role as community sporting organisations and we don't set out to make exorbitant amounts of money from our players and participants, we do have to ensure we are allowing ourselves that safety net to operate the club properly. As they say, it is important to be in the black, but we need to see that green. Without retaining a big enough cash balance, you are exposing your club to risks such as not being able to pay your bills and afford to operate. This could set yourself up for a catastrophic circumstances, including shutting the doors of your football club. So it is more important than ever to manage your cash flow properly. We hope you have found this session valuable to understanding the basics of club finance and managing cash flow. For further information on club finances or any other club support matters, simply visit the club support portal on the Football Victoria website. And please don't hesitate to contact your local club ambassador should you have a need for any further assistance at your club. So thank you for joining us once again, and I look forward to seeing you out by the pitch again soon.